What is Quantum Mirror? What's up everyone? My name is Matt Foreman. I am a virtual reality developer and I am creating a VR project that I think is so unique, interesting, and just awesome that I wanna share it with you guys. I'm here at REM5 Studios where I work and I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look into some fast paced VR development, show you a little bit about my process and essentially just take you with me on this adventure. The project I'm working on is called Quantum Mirror VR. So what makes this project so interesting? Well, I think the first question I need to answer is, what is Quantum Mirror? So let's switch gears for a minute. The actual Quantum Mirror itself is not a virtual reality experience. In fact, far from it. Quantum Mirror is a reality bending infinity room, a physical room in the real world where you walk inside and audio visual content is reflected to infinity. Quantum Mirror is a transcendent immersive art experience. Now, Quantum Mirror won't launch until November 2021, and as I speak, the area outside Quantum Mirror is still under construction. However, the Quantum Mirror itself was just fully assembled, and of course we had to celebrate by peeling off the plastic and testing it out. Quantum Mirror was designed and built by Adrian Stein, an incredibly talented dude and just a genuinely nice person. He goes by Looney Stein on social media, so please go give him a follow. Adrian's close friend, Zach Hall, also played a large role in the construction of the mirror. The design is no ordinary infinity room. It's not shaped like a cube. In fact, the mirrors are arranged in a very complex way that kind of messes with you in a wonderful way when you're inside it. The floors, the ceiling, the walls, every surface inside there is mirrored, except for the video screens. You truly feel like you are in an infinite yet living void when you're inside it. So back to VR, how does virtual reality fit into this? Well, the entire Quantum Mirror experience is a futuristic journey of interactive installations that reflect on the blurred line between humans and technology. It's more than the infinity room itself. It is a whole attraction that is meant to make you think. So virtual reality is one component of the quantum mirror experience. The VR component is meant to give people some context about the purpose of quantum mirror. Before anyone goes inside the physical quantum mirror, people will put on a VR headset and learn about the artistic and philosophical intent behind quantum mirror. So, I'm going to make a virtual reality app where your consciousness gets uploaded to the metaverse. This is going to be insane. So, what makes this VR project so interesting? One, it will bridge the gap between virtual and physical reality with an extremely interesting physical tie-in that people will go experience as soon as they take off this headset. I've been wanting to do a physical tie-in to a VR experience for years. Two. I get to be as creative as I want with this project, so long as it aligns with Adrian's creative vision. So we're gonna make some crazy <laughs> Three, I have one month to finish this VR project before Quantum Mirror launches. VR projects can take four months, eight months, even upwards of a year. I have one month. One month. So if I have one month to make this thing from scratch, does that mean I'm completely screwed? Luckily not. I'm supported by my colleagues and friends here at REM5. Shout out to Brian Skalak and Amir Berengian, and also Adrian Stein, the creator of Quantum Mirror. While I am the only developer working on this project, uh, all of us have gotten together and agreed on a general flow of the experience. This was very helpful to me, and I'll also be able to use Adrian's 3D assets that he created for Quantum Mirror. With such a short timeline, there are some careful considerations that need to be made if this VR app is gonna get finished in time. First, we need to keep it simple. The VR experience is going to be visually stunning and contain meaningful interaction, yet it will also be linear, have a specific timeline, and it'll be somewhat minimalistic in a very intentional way. Second, we need to use what we already have 
and repurpose it to fit our needs. After you've been doing game development for a while, you build up a foundation of what you know, and then you can kind of draw from this foundation as you please when you start new projects, so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel or start from scratch. For example, in another project I just recently did at REM5 Studios, I have hand tracking and uh, interaction system that I made. So I can just pull that into this project for free. Also, Adrian has some 3D assets that he's made for Quantum Mirror already. So I'll be grabbing those and exporting those into Unity, which is the game engine that I'll be using for this experience. Three, we need to focus on what's important. That means I need to avoid the urge to polish early on and just focus on the core features that are necessary to get this thing running from start to finish. Once it is and we're feeling good about that, then we get into the polish phase. And four, realistically, I'm gonna need to put some extra time into this thing. In this case, it's a really fun project, so I honestly don't mind. I'm the only developer making this thing and I think I can do it, but if hits the fan, I may need to call in some of my game developer friends. Right now though, if I brought in another developer, I'm not even sure what I would ask them to do, so I'm gonna stay the course for now. Stay tuned to see whether or not I go insane. So I know I did a lot of talking in this video, but I thought it was really important to give you some background to understand what Quantum Mirror actually is before I get into VR development. In the next video, we'll get into the VR development process a little bit more, get the project set up, and if you're not a developer, don't worry. I'm gonna do my best to explain things in a way that anyone can understand, even if you know nothing about game development. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube, and I will see you in the next one.